Right, I have received this box here that I completely forgotten about that I bagged these guys last year. So this is Jolly Look, the first ever paper Instax camera. I'm gonna open this box to see whether this, this thing actually works or not. I don't know what this is, but it looks like a viewing viewing thing. So that you kind of look. Uh, yeah, that is that is your. That's the viewfinder. Oh, but this is a lens. Okay, now it's not covered. Covered. Right. 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 Come on. Let's, why is it not? To so set this, insert the metal weight. That is the metal weight. Oh, so you can take that out, right? It's got a polarizer. You've got more of these springs in case, in terms, in case of the um, the internal elastic band is broken, so you can replace it, I guess. But how are you going to replace this thing? How are you going to take it off? That's the longest position I have at the moment. So this one would go in to push that this bloody thing open. Oh, <laughs> look at that! So it. It works like this. Yay! <laughs> now it makes more sense. Okay, now I can insert my films. God, this thing is difficult, isn't it? It's not as easy as you think. Right. Right, interesting now. Important moment. Let's try a film. Pray for me, people. So, this way. And I have to insert like this. Ooh. Important moment. It holds in position. Right. Now I'm gonna have to release the first film cover. <laughs> awesome. Right. By the way, this is not film. Uh, right. Okay. I. I don't know if I should take a picture, I'm scared. <laughs> oh, right. Moment to be whole. Doesn't come down! Doesn't come down! <laughs> and I shaked as well, right. I have no idea whether this works or not. So we had a little bit of trouble um, trying to figure out how this thing actually worked and we had some failures, like proper failures, like like this, absolutely got nothing, like black or white, <laughs> it's pretty bad. Uh, but we did have a success um, earlier so I'm, I'm trying to replicate that now and see whether this is a useless piece of junk or it's a camera. Even if you take shit photos, it's still a camera. Let's, let's see if we can take some photos. I'm scared, you know. We only have limited films. <laughs> it's very flimsy, this thing. It's really difficult. Like, I might actually drop into the water, by the way. So we do. The review is over. Guess what I need to do now? <laughs> Use these to prop it. It's um, some sort of straw system that they use. Which makes no sense, and uh, because it's not color coded, so you don't know which one is which. You kind of just have to feel it. Right, let's hope it 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 doesn't fall out. Baby. 
F45. Shutter is cocked. By the way, this is the weight that will change the shutter speed from 150 to 250. I don't know if it works, but we shall see. Well, it's going to be a few minutes. Let's take some more photos. Let's check it out. So the polarizer is supposed to Minus one stop. What? That's the polarizers. God, is that it? <laughs> you can't even fix the thing onto it. it. Like it, it will just drop. <laughs> let's, let's try 64. Right, no weight according to it. No weight is actually faster. All right. So we had another failure earlier. The shot that I just took, it came out white. So um, either it didn't expose or it just overexposed. We shall see. Apparently you can do the pinhole here. And uh, let's see, like pinhole. According to the instruction, there is a pinhole mode here. So like uh, that means it's quite a tiny thing. It should, should, be, it should work well with this sort of thing and it doesn't really matter about what the focus, focus is. It's, um, it's just a pinhole. So everything should be in focus if I expose long enough, which look, does look like it's overexposed all the time. So this, it should work well. Let's, let's try this. By the way, I need uh, this manual exposure. So there's a switch here. A is automatic, basically just shut this uh, curtain every time you press the shutter. When it's M, so you have a... Um, you have a manually override so uh, you can actually press the shutter and leave it open and then press it again to close it okay Ooh, it's a very tiny hole I think one second should be enough because it's quite still quite fast film but let's see that's over two seconds three seconds already Shut it! <laughs> right, by the way, we are running out of film. Right, I have some white films. Totally white. <laughs> I wasted another two films, which doesn't do anything whatsoever. It's, it's, it's hard, isn't it, these things? It's, it's really isn't something that's easy to use. I'm going to F64. You can see from my face, I'm actually losing confidence in this thing now. All right. Come on, Dad. Right. I'm not even trying to compose now. I'm just trying to see if I can get a shot with something in the photo. Look at that. God. That's what happened. Why it... Oh my God, man. Look at the hole. The hole doesn't even look well to me. At the moment, it doesn't do anything. It seems, seems fine at the moment. I'm very determined to uh, make at least one presentable shot. So uh, let's try my last pack of film. And this is an expensive experiment, man. Like, look, I wasted all this virtually for nothing. Last pack. Wish me luck.
this piece of shit. Let's see what I got earlier. It's a failure or success. <gasps> I got one, one success. A proper one as well. Like, oh, it works well in black and white, but. Hey, look at that, look at that. Can you see this? You get up here. And by the way, that's a pinhole. <laughs> so it only works with pinhole because uh, the shutter is so slow. Oh, it, it works with pinhole. So I guess I, I can use this as a pinhole camera. So you can just ignore all the aperture settings because none of them works. Just use the manual, manual pinhole thing. That should work well. All right, hey, you got one shot out of uh, a pack and a half of wastage. Wastage? Is that such a word? Yeah, just wastage. Yeah, so like, look at all this crap. Well, I still got a few films left, so um, let's see if I can get another one somewhere. I only got black and white now, so uh, let's do some classic shots, shall we? 45 it is. It's scarier than giving birth. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I hate the shutter, man. This is just, it's just rubbish. Well, we had some moments with this jolly look. Definitely not jolly good because um, uh, it's a little bit flaw in a way in, in terms of the whole thing, operation and handling no handling whatsoever you know oh yeah that's trace that needs a lot of handling because uh, the straw thing really doesn't work it keeps falling off and then uh, the shutter i think that's the main drawback with this thing i, I think okay you know, i can live with the paper construction you know it, it's fine i can i can even live with this freaking straw thing but that shutter that's what lets it down it's so unreliable you know like i try many times you know, just trying to cock it and then and then and press the shutter, and it just wouldn't go down like a very in a very snappy way. Okay, one, two, 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 two. It comes down very slow. It's like almost like it's stuck somewhere, and and yeah, it just wasn't great. You know, and uh, and because of the shutter, it just couldn't any photos you know it just stays open all the time and that means you get all your shots overexposed as you can see from our photos yeah nothing seems to kind of have that correct exposure it's always overexposed so um, the only way you can get a shot is to use the pinhole mode and but with pinhole you got the drawback is you have to put the camera very still you know either on the tripod or on a very still surface flat surface and then you can get shot because you have to manually control the shutter speed but even that you know, I had some problem earlier, you know, the shutter just did, just wouldn't go down once again. And, and I think there is a bit of improvement they can do with the shutter, you know, make the whole action a bit more smooth. Um, and apart from that, you know, is it a camera? <laughs> can I even consider this as a camera? Uh, well, it takes pictures, certainly, and uh, not very good photos. I, mean, I think it's capable, but only if this bloody shutter works and other than that is the idea is there but the execution I think is let down by the execution itself I wish I could say something more positive and uh, that's like look like looks like an other Kickstarter a failed Kickstarter campaign that I backed so far I remember the one that I you know that I backed uh, you know last year the the uh, the gimbal thing from uh, from Tiffin that didn't go very well so this is another failed example so I guess I just wasted about 50 quid on this thing and then uh, <laughs> I go back to my normal Instax camera <laughs> I'll, I'll put it on the shelf <laughs> at least it looks good I guess you know but it certainly can't take any pictures Today's experiment, we we took two packs of Instax film, well, that's 20 photos, so only two came out that I would actually consider as photograph and uh, not particularly nice but at least two came out and the rest, uh, that's, look, look at all this, wastage, 25 pounds worth of film is gone just like this and 
So, what's my thought about this? Not even a toy, I would say. It's just, um, it's just kind of good looking thing that you can put on a table somewhere. And the thing is, because this thing's made from paper, it's not even a paper weight, so you can't even use it to hold down anything. So, you put it, maybe put it on top of your computer, you know, just to remind yourself that don't ever back something like this on Kickstarter. Another failure. One positive last note. This camera is fully recyclable. It's paper and a little bit of plastic, so yeah, it's fine. I'm gonna chuck it to a recycling bin in a minute. Um, so hope you enjoyed the video and remember to subscribe for more and click that bell button to stay notified when we have a new video. So until next time, see you then, bye.